Hello guys, I've been learning a lot about Kubernetes architecture and I cannot wait to share about uh, the lessons that I'm learning and in this video I am actually going to be talking about Kube API server. Kube API server is one of the main components that run on uh, Kubernetes master node. When you use a client like kubectl first actually starts by interacting with the API server and not just kubectl your API calls kubernetes dashboard or any application that wants to communicate with the kubernetes cluster worker node components master node components they all first go through API, this API server and this API server authenticates authorizes and validates those connections. When you want to deploy an application on this Kubernetes cluster, you should have some idea of the application design. For example, how many replicas of the pod where your application will be running basically should be in that configuration file. And you can also put the network details the service details and if you want the load balancing you can put all that in this configuration file and this information is basically the desired state of your application meaning the state in which you want the application to be normally once this configuration file is created it is actually sent to the api server now api server will basically understand the request and then it is, once the, re the request is validated it creates a pod object it doesn't create the pod itself it just creates a pod object and then the scheduler will immediately come to know that this there is a new pod object and it needs to go to work to find uh, the right node to put the pod on so the sole purpose of scheduler is to actually find the node to create the pod it doesn't create the pod it just like makes that decision as in where to put the pod and once it finds a node for this pod it communicates that information or the decision back to the api server from this point on kubelet which is a worker node process will take over it will be watching this api server and once this pod node information is available kubelet will or the respective kubelet will kick in and then it will start creating the pod and that pod is not shown in this picture so that is actually uh, quite a lot of information and uh, i want to actually make small videos like this that way I don't overwhelm you with a lot of information and uh, if you like this kind of content you know please subscribe to my videos I'll see you guys in my next video bye